We play and call it work. Hey folks, Janine from Mini Wargaming here with another how-to video for you. In this video, we are going to paint this Reaper Fly Demon Mini. And we are going to begin by painting a very colorful iridescent fly carapace. As always, if you have suggestions for something you'd like to see in a future how-to video, please leave it down below in the comments. Now, when I think of a fly, the first color that comes to mind is a shiny green. The first color I wanna use is gonna be Caliban green. And I'm going to apply this by doing a heavy dry brush over the whole carapace. I'm just using a very soft brush. I'm applying the color in thin controlled layers so that it doesn't go on too thickly. I'm also going to be applying this to the head of the fly. After everything's been coated with that Caliban green, the next color we wanna use is gonna be Cavalite green. This is also going to be applied as a dry brush. I'm mainly concentrating the color on the top of all of these carapace sections so that I'm brightening up the green in the areas where the light would hit the model the most. The same goes for the top of the head. After we've finished our dry brush and built up a nice base for our green, we're going to begin highlighting it and giving it a lot more brightness. Our next color is gonna be Warpstone Glow. I'm mixing it with a little bit of Lamian Medium. And I'm going to apply this to the top of all of these carapace pieces, really brightening up the green. I'm applying this in controlled layers, slowly building up the color so that I get a smooth transition. I wanna make sure that I also highlight all of the ridges at the top of the head. And after one layer of this color has dried, I'm going to apply a second layer, just so I can make sure that my green is nice and bright. After the Warpstone Glow, our next color is gonna be Moot Green, also mixed with Lamian Medium. We're just going to apply this to the very top, adding one final highlight to the areas where the carapace would be hit by the sun and the color would be the brightest. After I've finished highlighting the green, I want to add in a little bit of shadow using Coelia Green Shade. I just wanna put a little bit of this color into all of the cracks, creating a deeper shadow. I'm going to be painting the same color in all of the shadows on the head as well. After the Coelia Green Shade has dried, I want to add a few areas where the color of the carapace has shifted so it kind of mimics the look of iridescence. So we're going to add a few patches of purple. We're going to begin with Nagaroth Night. We're going to mix this color with a little bit of Lamian Medium, and we're going to apply two oval sections on each side of the central carapace. I also want to paint the hard shell that's sculpted on the underbelly section this purple color as well. After I finished blocking out the purple sections, I want to highlight them using a little bit of Zarius Purple. This has also been mixed with Lamian Medium and we're just going to apply it to the middle of this purple section. We're just adding small controlled layers, covering about 70% of the area that we just painted with Nagaroth Knight. We want to do one final highlight on the purple using the color Gene Stealer Purple. We're just applying this over about 50% of our purple area, adding a final pop of highlight and making the purple a little bit brighter. After we finished highlighting the purple, we're going to use a little bit of Drakenhof Nightshade. I'm going to be applying this into the shadow of the purple sections. And I'm also going to draw this color into the green sections a little bit, so they kind of blend together slightly. Once we finish the purple sections, I wanna add one more patch of a different color just to make this look even more iridescent. We're going to do that using yellow. Our first color is gonna be Averland Sunset. I'm gonna put this yellow section right at the top of the carapace. Since this yellow is going to be the brightest color section we have, I want to place it where the light is the brightest. I want to leave a very small gap between the colors so that a pop of green 
shows up between the yellow section and the purple section. After I've applied the Averlin Sunset, I want to highlight it with a little bit of Uriel Yellow. This is just going to be put over about 70% of the section I just painted with the Averlin Sunset. And then in the very center of this yellow section, I'm going to do a final highlight of Flash Gets Yellow. Once I have all of my yellows applied, I'm going to shade them using the color Fugan Orange. Again, I'm just placing a little bit of this into the cracks between the carapace sections, drawing it a little bit into the green and purple so that the colors blend together slightly. All right, now that I have all of the colors blocked out on this fly demon, I want to do one final thing to make it look like it's a slightly metallic iridescence. I don't want to apply gloss medium over it because I don't want it to be shiny as much as I want it to look metallic. So I'm going to use the color Screaming Bell and I'm going to do a small line highlight on each of the carapace sections. I just want to completely outline everything drawing this metallic all the way over the top and around. I even want to do a thin line all the way around this eye socket. Now that I have everything lined, I decided that the color is a little bit too consistent as it goes around the curve on the back. So I'm going to use a little bit of Warplock Bronze and I'm going to add a metallic shadow about a third of the way up on both sides of the carapace, just to create a little bit of color variation in the metallic, just like all of the different colors that we used before with the purples and greens and yellows. All right, after that little shadow of Warplock Bronze, the shiny iridescence on this fly demon is complete. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more how-to videos, I have another one where I'm going to paint the wings on this fly demon in the mini wargaming vault in the link down below in the description. If you don't already have a vault membership, you can go ahead and click the link, sign up for a seven day free trial, and get access to my tutorial as well as hundreds of other videos in the mini wargaming vault. So go ahead, click the link, start your free trial, and happy wargaming.